Hi, I'm Phil Falcone from Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, we're going to talk about Entrepreneur 101. So stick around, we're going to have a good time. To say you got to know somebody, or know somebody to give somewhere these days. To say you know that's all right, yeah, that's all right. Cause you know that's all right with me. Yeah, you know that's all right, yeah, that's all right. Today's episode was sponsored by Executech Suites, a 47-unit full-service office building in Huntington Valley that rents office space for only $4.95 a month and you get everything you need for your small business. Phone numbers above, websites below, check out Executech Suites in Huntington Valley. Alright, today's show is called Entrepreneur 101. It's an alternative entrepreneurial college plan. For your teenage children on their way to college. I don't know about you, but I've always had a bit of an issue spending 50 grand a year to send my son to college uh, and if he's not really focused on where he's going with it and what exactly he wants to accomplish by being there. What I want to see him turn into is a commercial real estate entrepreneur like his father. And I'd like to see him join the ranks of the capitalists in this country, the entrepreneurs. That's what this country needs right now. We got enough people walking around with their hand out or people looking for jobs right now. I'd rather see him become an individual who creates a business, who creates jobs. Like entrepreneurs, like capitalists are supposed to do in this country. And I think we're a dying breed, so my little plan here kind of gives you an alternate idea for somebody who maybe is not so sure they want to go to college. So here you go. Instead of putting 50000 a year into some college for $200,000, I'd rather take that money and make it a down payment on a million dollar apartment building, for example. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a 12 unit apartment building and, uh, and I put my son in charge of that building. He's going to learn about doing maintenance. He's going to learn about hard work. He's going to learn construction. He's going to learn sales when he tries to rent the apartment. He's going to learn about the legal aspects of business when he's preparing leases and signing leases, running credit reports and doing applications and all that stuff. Um, he's going to become a negotiator. And what I'm hoping to do, what I'm hoping to come out of all this, is he gets so excited about what he's doing that he begins to start showing an interest in the terrific business of commercial real estate that I love and has been very, very good to me. And I love this plan, Entrepreneur 101, much better than I love spending $200,000 so that some liberal professor who never owned a business in his life and never made a payroll in his life can all of a sudden take the values that my son has that I've spent my entire life trying to develop and have it become totally skewed. You know, I know kids have gone off to college, and four years later they come home, you don't even recognize them. Who the heck are they? Um, they, they, they? They come back with a completely different set of values, and that's something that I want to avoid, but what I really want to do is I want to teach them the terrific business of commercial real estate, real estate in general, and show them how they can make a million dollars for themselves, create jobs, produce tax income for the for the state, for the town, for the, for the country, and just become a, a positive impact on a capitalist society. So that's what I call Entrepreneur 101. Think about it like this. Let's just suppose that my son does a terrific job running this apartment building. Guess what I can do? I can maybe give him a piece of it. Maybe I give him the whole damn thing if he does a really good job. All right? Maybe he builds up the equity in that building so much that uh, he all of a sudden has a couple hundred thousand dollars in equity in there that he wants to invest in another project and he becomes my partner on another project. Think of the beautiful ways that this thing can grow and expand. All right? I love the idea. And let's just say that he, instead of going to college and smoking pot and chasing girls for a living, he comes and does this instead. Now, if he, if he doesn't apply himself to this, I didn't waste any of my money. My 200 grand is still there. I own the building, so nothing's lost. And, th and when he's walking away from it, I'm going to say, son, let me just tell you something. One day this building's going to be wa worth 1.5 million. You could have had a piece of that half a million dollars in equity. And I can guarantee you, when it is worth that much money, I'm going to remind you of the day you walked away from it. I'm going to really have a hook in him to show him that there is a cost for just walking away. At college, 
getting bad grades. There's, I'm sure there's plenty of people who do that. They don't apply themselves. And I don't know that kids see the cost. It's too easy for them to walk away. It's going to be hard to walk away from Entrepreneur 101 because I'm going to make it hard. Anyway, that's, that's my idea for today that I wanted to share with you. If you like this video, you can go to addictedtorealestate.com. Website's right there. You get free investor forms, and you can sign up for my free TV show, and you can check out my new book. It's called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. I'm Phil Falcone, and thanks for listening.